Hey, what's up guys? It is KCS Productions here now. Um, I'm gonna be, um, you know, doing something. I'm gonna be, be playing Elmo Jam, but first off, I'm gonna show you guys something here. Um, apparently, um, I looked up this, and it says what are minimum system requirements for Elmo Jam. And because it's an online game, Allergen requires a healthy and constant internet connection of at least one MPBPS as well as Adobe Flash version 10.3 or newer responsibility. UW's for concert is not meant, Allergen might have slow loading times, but a game player may not load at all. Sim requirements now 2.33 GHz faster 86 compatible processor in, or Intel Atom 1.6. Gigahertz and fast processor for netbooks. Now I don't know why because, um, because I, because Elmo Jam runs just fine on this computer, which is really slow for some reason. Like I don't know why it says this because apparently mine is 1.10 and apparently it it does load with 1.10 gigahertz in the processor. So, um, now my old compared to my old computer, this one is a little. 16% more, more slow than my other one because my other one was an Intel i3 processor and that was 1.7 gigahertz which was a little bit faster but it was more like for light gamers out there um, um let's see XP no XP is not supported anymore but no server 2008 32 bit like I don't know why they include the servers because I don't know why they include that because it's more like for business things as well was just saving you know, all that ended support about a year ago. Windows 7, Windows 8, 32-bit and 64-bit, or Windows Server 2012, 64-bit. Now, I don't know why they don't have Windows 10 on here, because this this reminds me that this is kind of outdated, but I just feel like they need to update this sometime in the future. Internet Explorer 8.0 later, Mozilla Firefox 17 or later, or later, Google Chrome or Opera 11, 512 millibytes of RAM, gigabyte, 1 gigabyte of RAM recommended for netbooks, 128 megabytes of graphic memory. Now, if you guys have a MacBook, this is what it requires Intel Core Duo, 1.83 gigahertz fast processor, or Mac OS X, version 10.6, version 10.7, version 10.8, or version 10.9. As far as 5.0 or later, so Firefox 17, Google Chrome, Opera 11, 512 megabytes of RAM, 128 megabytes of graphics memory. Now, if you guys have Linux, um, this is what it requires: 2.32 gigahertz fast for 86 compatible processor or Intel Atom, 1.6 gigahertz faster processor for netbooks, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Red Hat 5.6 or later, 32-bit and 64-bit. Open SU's, I don't know what that is, 1.13 or later, 32 and 64 bit, or you put any 10.04 or later, 32 and 64 bit, Mozilla Firefox 17 or Google Chrome, 1512 millibits of RAM, and 120 millibits graphics memory. Now, I don't know why it's, um, for Windows, I don't know why it says this, because my, apparently I can, I can actually run Animal Jam with this processor being slow, and... Because unfortunately, this is uh, 1.10 gigahertz, and apparently, it does work with 1.10 gigahertz, which is often weird because there's two processors in here, um, which is really weird. Now, and the memory, um, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm really sorry, I can't record on my computer anymore because I don't have a lot of space on here. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, because I could tell the memory, I don't know about the memory. Um, um, I have no idea why they said that, because this is a Celeron CPU, and they don't really sell these anymore for some reason, but I did find a program on here called CPU-Z, if you guys don't know what that is. Um... Hang on a minute. I will be on Owl Jam in a few minutes, guys. I'm just trying to show you. Apollo Lake. I don't know. They don't really sell these anymore. These were formerly called Apollo Lake. 
um, which is the Saurion and 3050, or the cone name, excuse me. Um, the catchy, I can tell the catchy here. Catches, the catchy, cash, catches, um, however you say it, because I know people call it catchies, even though it's catches, caches, motherboard, memory, graphics, bench, and the belt. There's another program called this. Open here, excuse me. Um, this is the GPU as well. Um, so, yeah, hang on, guys, I'm gonna be right back here. Um, here. Alright, guys, well, I'll be right back here. Alright, back, guys. Alrighty, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So, anyways, um, a lot of people ask me why I went on my storage account a lot more, and the reason I would say this is because for some reason I like to be on my storage a lot more than on my main account. So you can tell, guys, this is actually my storage account, um, and. Now I'm going to explain what actually happened to my old computer as well. Um, pretty, I know I explained this in a, another video, but I'm going to redo it here. Now basically what happened was my other computer basically, you know, was trying to blue screen on me. It broke down and I could have spoiled it. I'm sorry. Basically what happened was um, it broke down a few months ago, which was back in March of this year um and what I mean by that it, it was trying to blue screen on me it was and it pretty much it was trying to it kept lagging on me now things I should have done on it was to some um reset Windows 10 reset the PC but I had no other options and I was like you know what, I'm just done using it and that's you know a lot of people want I and basically I upgraded it to server 2016, which is unfortunate. But I was kind of depressed for a few months and then, and then, um, and then I finally got back on again. Um, so yeah, um, pretty much I had to, I had to keep restarting it every single time and it still did, it was still doing the same thing. Like it was trying to blue screen on me. So pretty much that's what happened. Um. So I, I got rid of my old computer off of my account and removed my antivirus up there because I don't use it anymore. So yeah. Anyways guys, um, pretty much um, that's it for this video and oh my god it's been 8 minutes already. I'm really sorry but a lot of people ask me why I'm use recording on my phone. Now the reason I'm recording on my phone is because fact that I don't have a lot of room on here as you can see um now compared to my other computer my other computer had more space um I don't know why it says this Just apparently it's not 64 I thought it was 64 because my old one was um but yeah um so yeah this is only a 32 gigabyte 32 gigabytes of storage um so yeah um, a lot of people how, wondered how I got all this. Now, basically, these were from my old computer, as you can tell by the dates on here. Um, these are all from my old computer. I don't know why they appeared on here, but for some reason, they just did. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.